push as well. Oh, amen, brother. Okay, I really do want to go exploring a bit. Let's get ourselves an explorer, and it's going to be good old Shadow. And there we go. There's some pips. How hard was that? Now, please, tell me what's out there. We should have plenty of range since we, we have this as well, right? Yeah. There'll be something out there. We'll find it. Oh, God, what if that's the British? Looks like the British. Has aggressive expansion like the British. Mm, what if that's where all the good land is? Then I'm going to feel like a right chump. Alright, if we can please, please get this cord. You're only in two coalition wars. Grab that land. Well, especially when Timbuktu won't help out, but we do still have a truce. There's this province as well. I was hoping they would improve it for me. They just went and allied with Mali. There's a thought. The Afghans have stopped uh, getting on my case, but Strong High is eating them up as well. I would benefit from good relations over there. There we go. Away with you. And that's me pretty much won the war. But if I let the war score get to 50, I can have a bigger, better piece. It's not that many countries I'd be piecing out, but Portugal is the big one. I'm getting Portugal off my back for 10 years would bring aggressive expansion down to manageable levels for them. Okay, good. All the while, though, I'm not going to stop eating Castile, so I guess there's swings and roundabouts there. Nice of you, Joloff. You delayed them with that boat that I sold you. Ah, but it wasn't enough. Just not enough. Take him down, though. Ah, oh, finally got my fort. It's all set up and ready to roll. Which means I can core it. Man, looks ceding loads of land to the Ottomans, who still don't want to be my friend, despite my best uh, best attempts. Whew. Okay, but I am I'm still hurting for money because this isn't even me rooting out corruption, which is what I really should be doing because it's growing at a dangerous rate. Of course, there are other ways to root out that corruption. I also have a whole chunk of uh, inflation that I'd rather not have. I guess we should just turn that down a lot. A hell of a lot. I already got my tech, right? I need to maintain the army, but uh, whatever. Faithful adherence can get rid of that. I'll just get the money up front this way. Alright, we'll keep it. Jake, has there been an AI that's impressed you in the game? Uh, I mean, I've been caught out and impressed by AIs plenty of times. I just can't think of this being a particular example. This is kind of useful for me. Great Britain has declared war in Castile. Portugal dishonored. Hmm. You know, I was thinking... Expansion finisher lets me fabricate trade company regions. That's how I can get to Portugal. Uh, but Portugal hate my guts. They're still in that coalition. In fact, are they in this coalition war? No. Plenty of them, but not all at war with me, courtesy of truces. The big truce with France goes away in five years. However, the whole area is so much easier to defend now that I have this. I got the forts, they can't go further than this, and Castile is going to go down the moment that truce is up, and then I will have all of this. Oh, it's going to be so glorious at long last. This fort's kind of unnecessary now. I'm tempted to get rid of it in, in order to save money, because if I get broken? No, no, it's good. If they do break through here, it's good to break up uh, their stacks, even though the cost is unpleasant. Jake, is there a chance there are some fallen or ancient civilizations in the New World? Or you turn that off? I think I have that stuff on, so they could be there, but there's no guarantee one way or the other. Burgundy and Aachen's coming in immediately trying to tear down my awesome hill fort. I don't like that, because they're in the other um, the other war, and that's a considerable number of them to have to kick out. However, it's worthy of war score, worthy of good war score, so I should make a, a move to be there, especially with 
Meow on the case. Wolof and Kaor rising up. But uh, Brittany will take care of both of those, hopefully. Fulo. Yeah, you lost all your cores on them, didn't you, Yolof? Figures. Different culture. That'll be it. How are we looking for those colonies I set up, though? Oh, you're almost there. Good start. Mmm. Yeah, this new world might not be so bad after all. I have extra gains from um, treasure fleets. So once we set up a colonial nation there, I'll be quids in to a degree. Oh, right, they saw that coming and they were afraid. However, they leave on different days. 23rd, 24th. If I get there on the 23rd, I think I will miss Burgundy, but grab Aachen. Let's see how it goes. This will be hilarious if it, if it matches up. There we go. Burgundy moved first, because their tag was um, earlier than mine. Then I move in, I grab Aachen, and then I shoot him to shreds, because God do I hate people trying to invade my Iberia. My Iberia. Oh man, they finally took care of that. Well, I guess I'll core this uh, piece of junk up. I've been expecting more revolts and I haven't been getting them. Also, where is Bacchanalpa? Oh, it's that disgusting piece of land I took from the English. I don't even want to convert it. I don't even want to have it. I want a colonial nation up here. Marvin says, Hello Jake, I'm back from your honeymoon. Oh! Hope you had a great time there, Marvin. I'm having a great time being attacked by coalition war after coalition war. But I mean, that's what happens when you have massive brass like Al Andalusia. I think breaking truce would barely make a difference at this point anyway, but uh, we'll hold off for when that truce time is up. Four more years, then we pounce on the remains of Castile. Unfortunately, England's taking care of what little colonies they have left. It's victory for Tanner. Why Catholic Zealots? Truly, why Catholic Zealots? Everybody's focusing on me so much that they're not even considering the Ottomans being the, the real threat here, which is cute. End the Cypriot Coalition War. No, not until I have 50% war score. And I will get there. I mean, it's ticking up towards it. Uh, give it a year and it should be there. And if I can score a, a, a victory at sea, then all the better. Land victory would be even better. Poles in, Alga in Igar. Mm, that they are. Need to remember when your truce is up. Poles would make for a delectable victory there, but we'll hold off for now. Sardinia, that's the delectable part. Permanent claims, you see, but difficult for me to defend. Army organizer down. Um, I'll have you just so I basically get some mill points. Not particularly enamored with you. If you're going to go there, then I will catch you there, hopefully. Ah, crumbs. Hard to get these guys, but this should be good. Now they can't properly run away. And I'm not saying it's going to be a huge amount of war score. The naval battles seldom are, but... Wait, ah, oh, crumbs. We don't have our esteemed uh, bitter over here. Bitter Craven you had a fight. I tell you, this is all a bad joke. I'm getting rid of Olwyn's. Shadow's still exploring the uh, the new the random new ocean for us, and I have a free diplomat. Right, England, seriously, stay off my back here. They have enough aggressive expansion to join the coalition, but I don't want them in. They're a painful, uh, painful sod to fight against. Yeah, well, we just have to do this without an admiral for now.
You know what, there's a case to be made for hunting down those poles. Um... Trying my best with GB. It's not all helping though. The money situation could be so much better. I'm a bit disgusted about that. Shitatsu Show, put your speed to use and catch these buggers. Ah, oh, snap. Oh, damn, that was costly. I didn't notice the rebels rose up and now I just lost uh, the big expense of sending the, um, the Portuguese there. It was the Portuguese, right? Who who was that? No, it was the Catalans. The Catalans from Yeah, that place. Alright, well this way I'll at least have a thousand on each of the places. There we go. Tight fistedness cost me there pretty dearly in the end. Jake, delete less important forts in Morocco to save some money. Uh, I fe yeah, this one can go quite happily. Fez still blocks off everything here. Marrakesh doesn't stop much, but it's a nice mountainous fort to have. Ah, those poles are long gone. So the reason I've not been piecing out, because I could piece out, is because there's this minus 30 coalition war that stops... Uh, it, it's there to stop you making easy peace with a coalition. Now, the reason I've been waiting... I was hoping that it would have changed right there. More gold? I like this place already. The development might not be too shabby. Um, the reason I've been waiting, I was hoping it would turn that month, but maybe this. All will be clear on the turn of the month. There we go. Now that I have 50 war score, the minus 30 coalition war is gone. You've won so hard that it's not really affecting uh, their their desire to peace out, as in they don't want to stay in it forever. So now we have won. Uh, however, there's nothing I really want to take. I just want the, the peace deal to be as long as possible. Kill the free Mallorca. Oh, right, I didn't catch that, but yes, Mallorca exists. And I will kill them. Do they own both provinces? They do. Still don't understand how they... God damn it, France. Well, France will be in a war with me eventually anyway. My time for killing Mallorca will come. Algiers I also want dead. All in due time. Unless I could just ask them nicely. Well, I can't threaten war while I'm at war. So, about this peace deal, it's not a lot of money, but I'm still going to take it. And that, and really anything else that pushes up the truce timer here which isn't a whole lot, unfortunately. Give up your auto scum claims, at least that'll make the auto scum a bit happier with me. So there we go, I get an over 10 year truce for these guys, which is good for having them cool off a bit. And I get a state of relative peace. And Ottomans like me for getting rid of all those claims, right? Still at war with a bunch of Danes, but they don't seem to want to jump on me. Oh, hello, Danes are jumping on me. Where are all those attack boats of mine? Shame we don't have Shadow. Shadow, could you... Yeah, I guess you're doing God's work there, but still. I wish you were here to fight these Danes a bit better. Flagship will have to do all the heavy lifting now. Fort is done. Core is almost done. Ottomans are fighting against Hungary. That's okay, though. Keeps... Uh keeps what I'm told is Central Europe busy. It's the name of the, f the flagship again. The flagship is the Jester's Court because uh, everybody that fights me on the seas is a joke. I don't quite catch the Danes before they land, but we have other ways to kill Danes. It's actually good for me that they do land. It's free war score. I 
staff to uh, protect the provinces that are expelling people, though. That's you, but you're protected by a couple of forts. That's you, but you are a fort. And who else was I sending abroad? There were some Castilians, right? Oh yeah, um, Clink is at a bit of threat, but it's all beyond uh, beyond a certain level. Still, let's try and get that war score from battles, and then we can... Oh, thank you, France! A, um, a crusade against... Yeah, there we go. A crusade against Ottomans is a crusade that's not against me. Let's see how well the Danes fight. Uh, just as you'd expect from Feke, really. Down he goes. The fire rises, but that's okay. Ah, Fr uh, France is busy in their own war, which is rather nice. Still no leader on that fleet, Jake. I know, um, he's off exploring. So many people wanting to fight me. What's their problem? I would still rather like the Danes out of this. Their, exp their aggressive expansion isn't that huge, and that'll be gone inside like 20 or so years. We've got to hold out, and we've got to kill Castile. It's two very simple things. G'day, says True Leveler. How's it going? It's going very coalition-y, which is a new word we're inventing here because times are grimbo. But they're getting better by the moment. Hmm, oh my, I missed that one. Did I ever get that core? I did, right. You're all done, and you are all super defensive. You should probably also be defensive, but I'll do it when the need arises. There we go. There we bloomin' go. The ultimate defense has been set up. I should no longer need it here. I should certainly not need it here, although this is my... Uh, this is the best place to have something, so I'm thinking manpower is nice. It's practically free to have the um, the edicts in your capital area. There we go, Mallorca get as well. Happy days. Oh, I've tackled a lot of coalitions so far, and we're not even done with them. There'll be more. There are always more. Brandenburg joins as well. I should probably start fearing that a little bit. Can I just keep coming back? Because I have to keep going around and around, but that blockade really doesn't matter at all. <laughs> I see their numbers actively going down. They must be involved in some other fight. Ah, they knew what was coming. Cheatery chokes. Well, let's chase their asses down. Yeah, that was pretty fast. Mainz is preparing to declare war upon us. We must prepare our defences. The malevolent personality of Daniel Brendel the First is why we know this. Mainz again? What do they have in for me? Might be something to do with them being an archbishop prick and uh, trying to enforce their religious ways upon us. But the coalition right now isn't that huge against us, so I don't think they'll bring in much fresh blood. However, I still need to get the war score so I can get ticking. I need to get ticking, all right. You get away from here. Yeah, I should have expected you'd join in, but I have a bit of faith in my units here. There we go. Tunis is over. I could fight them, but I'd rather not. They were a great ally, and I'm dribbling away with uh, trust and all that. The problem is, they're probably feeling a bit miffed from all the fights I've dragged them into. Only one out of four on Diplo relations. I could certainly grab some. But this, this country's going down first. I just need that truce gone. Do you have permaclaims on Tunis? I have many permaclaims on Tunis, but let me make this completely clear. I don't want them. This is as far as my expansion goes along North Africa. This is not a blobbing campaign. can be hard for a lot of people to understand that, sadly. My money's just not growing as much as I... Hello, Mainz! Palatinate, Trier, Frankfurt, Cologne... Lots of people joining in, but... We got our ticking war score on you, and it's probably better for me right now not to have all these people joining in. 
uh, costing me war score in that. I just wish I was making a whole lot more money. Could you give up your claims on Tunis in one of these coalition wars? Hey, now that's not a terrible idea. Give up claims on Tunis. Oh, okay, but nobody really wants it. Unless the Danes want it, but that would be weird. Nope. It's alright, we can win. The, the trouble will be when France gets involved again, and if they're part of a bigger coalition war, then that's just brutality for me. And all these costs are pretty pricey, aren't they? It's alright, we ship away the, uh, the evildoers. Make Ruzalon the full core it deserves to be, and we're good. Tunids needs to ru uh, raid Euro ports. I'd be happier if they did, that much is for sure. Uh, I, yeah, I haven't been losing war exhaustion because I'm not Defender of the Faith anymore. I mean, imagine if I was, what a joke that would be. Main date on my calendar right now is that uh, Castile are going down once that truce is up. Did you ever explore all this stuff? Are you still out there? Yeah, they still are. Oh, well, there's certainly not a large land mass around here. It's the top bit there, but that's it. I'm gonna have to nuke the British for their lands. There we go, got the money. I could claim Defender of the Faith, but I also could get loads of money from the merchants. And I need that money from the merchants. Let's have the global settler increase as well. I need that. And a nice admiral would go a long way at this point, but not long enough. I will, however, recruit a minister just so I can get the maximum amount of dosh out of you, because god do I need dosh. And diplo power goes a long way as well, so thanks a bunch. Wait for France to come to you. Oh, no, why wait for France to come to you? Impressive question. This is kind of nice. Burgundy's wasting their mill power on uh, crushing the fort there. And I am getting in in time to defeat them. And defeat them I shall. They want back up. Well, you're going to have to back that up because I am going to kill you. Hee ho. Oh, we're in time. Unless it's not between us. No, it is Augsburg. They might make the getaway, though. They do not. They get reinforcements, which is a bit concerning. Why would reinforcements join in this dead battle? Because they have more reinforcements, of course, but hopefully that's the end of their reinforcements, and hopefully I destroy them before they come in here. No. Phew. I'll take it. It's all war score in the end. But losing battles is very costly. And in losing troops is very costly uh, financially for me as well. This navy costs a fair bunch, but nothing compared to the army. Now... I should really... I have an idea, actually. I have a clever idea. Let's get you together and get you on this boat. You already have Shitatsu Show. It's a good maneuver I'll help out there. Um, and now let's go and hunt. Let's make history. You can always attack Majorca to force a war with France without other people. That's pretty clever, truthfully. It's pretty very clever. Tell you what, if France join a coalition that looks dangerously likely to attack me, then I can make that happen. Oh, but Bohemia would, might, could just call them in again. Plus, I could peace out with Ibiza just by taking all this stuff real fast, whilst uh, France is still dealing with my forts. That's a pretty great idea to keep France off my back. Pretty damn great, but it gets better. I could take land off of France with that, but I don't want to. I don't want to expand here. Uh, what if I had some marches? That would destroy the defensive setup that I have. That's all in the spirit of keeping France off my arse.
Yeah, you you can have access actually, England. Remember, I don't want us to fall out. At least I don't care about, that's fine. The Gianagar dominating, which is also groovy. And let's try and keep good relations here. I don't want Tinez turning on me, that would be sizably sad. So here's the problem. Um, Burgundy have a fleet and they keep running away. Right, hang on, how do they have 14 heavies between them? Burgundy have most of them, that's a bit terrifying. Shadow, could you please finish up your stuff so I could kick some ass here? Yeah, fresh blood in Europe means no aggressive expansion towards me. That's one of the beautiful things about Majorca. Can't even catch you there, Mori Firthing. And ugh, the Dutch. It never rains, but it pours. Okay, I was hoping he would retreat into... Uh... Ah, there he is. They're not going to get that anytime soon, though, and all the while my troops would just be smoking attrition. Alright, we'll bring you back here for now. Takes quite a while to get around here. Quite inconvenient for my fleet. Castile losing to England, or Great Britain rather, but nothing tragic for them. And let's grab that war score while we can. Again, very handy for me that Meow is so fast. Ooh, this could be risky. 10, 20, 30, 40,000 of them. I got good defense here. They don't have terrific generals, but they're good. And he's got 20,000 backup coming in. I might be biting off more than I can chew here. But bite it, I shall. Ah, this is also quite a nice way to catch you unaware. No general, neither do I. Or no admiral, rather. Neither do I. Hmm, they are piling in. This could be bad for me. They're really piling in. This could be very bad for me. There goes Brandenburg as well. It's going to be expensive, no matter how you cut it. Yeah, damn. Should have waited for the backup. Got too cocky. Still, with that move towards legalism, I'm very close to enforcing adherence, but I'm not quite there yet. Nice! Moab is done, so we've shipped off a whole load of folks. A bunch of truces are up, which is terrifying. So there we go, Castilians there, and I almost have what I need for a colonial nation here. It's good to have a colonial nation with at least 10 provinces, so you get a nice bonus for that. And also would keep them a bit stronger around here, so uh, despite everything, let's keep on keeping on. And the effects at home are rather nice. There we go. That's a bit more Andalusian in our lives, so I can ship off more of them. I'm thinking uh, anyone that has a lot of impact on my uh, religious unity. So that's the likes of Tal... what's it? Yeah, and it has a fort as well, so Tilly, Yuli, what's it, please? They are Castilian, right? Well, I know they're Catholic at least. There we go. Expensive, but I'll take it. Away they go. And here comes the third side-by-side -side coalition war. We all know it's coming. This schism would be better right now, but money-wise, I can't say no to that legalism. 